a lot of names are probably going to, you know, kind of trickle down and rest tomorrow. Again, don't confuse stocks that are resting, that are profit taking, for stocks that are going up. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody, and welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So we have literally, uh, now we literally have uh, only a few days left to uh, close out uh, 2021. And if you were watching the action today, uh, around lunchtime, you could clearly see the volume and the market participants being deuces, right? We're out of here, right? We're out of here. We're closing up our books uh, and we are shutting it down uh, for 2021. Uh, you had some pretty good, uh, you know, some pretty good selective action this morning, like we talked about in last night's video. Uh, the, the strongest names, the semiconductors we were watching uh, for dips and names, you know, like NVIDIA, uh, even Tesla, right? We talked about it for days that the value on Tesla is going to be uh, coming off of rising support, and that's the most important part. There was some pretty decent, it was more than decent, uh, there were really good bounces today uh, on Tesla, on the video off the rising uh, Bollinger Bands. Uh, Facebook is very strong today. You had Roku going ballistic, you know, in the morning with some really unusual call buying. We'll get to that in a second. But if you if you look at the, the overall spectrum of the market, you, you had a really good organic res day. Combine that with people kind of closing up their books. And now you are you're you are literally faced, or we're literally faced with the reality that probably if nothing is going on tomorrow by the first hour, hour and a half, two hours, it's a wrap. You know, it's absolutely a wrap. You could see here that you know, if you're trying to squeeze out your year. For the last couple of days, I don't know what you did for the rest of the, for the beginning of, of of the rest of the year, but uh, you probably want to think twice. It's, if you guys remember Thanksgiving, uh, the day before Thanksgiving was a ghost town. The day after Thanksgiving was a ghost town, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, a lot of people are done uh, because of COVID. People are just like mentally just just frustrated and shot, and they just kind of want to relax. And yeah, look, is is it possible? To get some, you know, some trades tomorrow, yeah, I think so. You know, there's definitely some, some, you know, some couple of things that I'm definitely watching. But if you look at the Nasdaq as a whole, and you look at the semiconductors who led this kind of rally uh, for the last three, four days, the market just is, is having a, a, a really good, uh, well-deserved rest. A lot of names are probably going to, you know, kind of trickle down and rest tomorrow. Again, don't confuse stocks that are resting, that are profit taking for stocks that are going lower. There's a big difference between a stock moving down than a stock moving lower. You know, if, if the Qs uh, go back, you know, come down tomorrow, they're just coming down tomorrow after a major, major run. They're not going lower. And unfortunately, a lot of new traders, what they do is they, they, they overthink. They try to uh, outsmart the market and they think, well, that's the reversal in Tesla. Well, that's the reversal in the video. Yeah. Reversals come in multiple days, right? There's two, three, four days of rounding tops, rounding bottoms. This is called good organic profit taking. And the only problem is from the trading uh, aspect, from the trading point of view going into tomorrow's session, you got a lot of tired names, right? You got a lot of tired names. And if you uh, if you do your research, and, and again, every single day, you should be, you know, you should be charting. I mean, that's your job. You should, you should go through a whole bunch of charts um, you know, if you if you're like me, you know, after seeing tonight's research, I'm very uninspired for tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. There's not a, there's not a lot of meat on that bone. Would I be shocked that something woke up with a lot of option flow and light, you know, a light uh, an ignition on this something? No, I wouldn't be shocked. We're in a very very good market. But uh, if you do your research and you start looking at the technology names, you'll just see a lot of names. The need arrest or are resting. It could trickle down tomorrow. They're not shorts, okay? They still continue uh, to buy them on uh, on rising 60-minute support. And if you look at a lot of names for tomorrow, they're just names that are just kind of there, right? They're just, you know, like Coke, right? When was the last time you saw me lead with Coke on a nightly update, right? You know, Coke looks pretty good. Uh, if Boeing, you know, takes out the 50-day moving average, 
you know, looks pretty good, right? That, you know, that looks decent. Uh, even a name like a Revlon, right? You guys see where I'm, you see what I'm, you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, right? We're not talking about Amazon. We're not talking about Netflix. We're not talking about NVIDIA or Tesla or anything else or Apple. We're talking about Revlon. We're talking about practice? Practice? We're talking about practice, right? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. If you don't know what that, you know, if, if you don't know what that last line was, I'm sorry, we can't be friends. But you know, names like Revlon that had this really, really big run uh, a couple of months ago, as you notice here, it stopped here, it's supply right here. It stopped exactly the same place here. And before you turn around and say, well, why would I even look at Revlon? Well, again, look, look at the history of the stock. Stock had, you know, had a run uh, literally from 12 to 18 in three days. You know, is it possible to go tomorrow? Who the hell knows? Maybe it's possible. Uh, even names like Square that I was watching for the last couple of days back to the upside through the 10-day moving average, you know, again, fail the 10-day moving average, close below the five. Is it possible to get a nice little short on Square tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. That looks pretty decent, but, but there's no meat, right? There's nothing for me to get super excited about, super enthused about, but hey, that's a good thing, right? And the one thing you guys are gonna, are gonna learn, if you're in, in this business for the first couple of years, you know, you're still in this honeymoon stage, right? Is it Monday yet? I can't wait to trade. Oh, this, the hot stock that's, you know, the longer you get into this business, you're gonna be like, yeah, whatever, right? Whatever, if not today, then tomorrow. There is no fear of missing out. You're gonna miss out every, every single day, all day, every day for, for as long as you're trading, right? The most important thing, except you get what you get, the market gods are always gonna make you whole uh, in the end, but the most important part is going into every single day, especially when your research tells you to stay a little bit more passive tomorrow and obviously scale down your tier size, the most important thing to remember every single day is when you come in with no expectations, you have no disappointments, right? I have zero expectations for tomorrow. Unless something wakes up that we set an alert for two, three weeks ago and gets, and gets peppered with massive short-term expiration option flow, you know, it's going to be a day like, you know, whatever, let's get through the day and see what happens uh, the next day. So I will be pleasantly surprised if we get any type of value uh, going into tomorrow's session. Again, can you catch a trade? Of course you can catch a trade, right? Uh, names like Pfizer looks, look interesting to the downside, right? Pfizer held the bottom range here a couple of times, maybe gives us a trade, maybe a trade, you know, maybe a name like Moderna off this bottom range here. Again, do I love it? No, I don't love it. You know, again, what was the last time you, heard, you saw me talking about Pfizer, Revlon, Moderna, right? It's not names that, I, that I'm looking at. But again, if you're looking for a trade, a setup is a setup is a setup. I mean, these things do confirm. Usually uh, good things are going to happen. But, but again, these are C, D, E, F, and G rated type of uh, plays. They're not, you know, they're not, you know, Amazon 200 point, you know, 200 point range or Tesla. These are, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, look, going into tomorrow, you know, have an open mind. Uh, remember, you don't need to trade every day. Any, any professional trader has been doing this for more than five minutes will tell you it's not about the market being open. It's about getting value. Uh, you know, the, the, there's a big difference between catching a trade and catching a value day. Tomorrow, I think you could probably catch some trades, you know, maybe put some stuff together, but I, I don't think it'll be a scenario unless unless you get really, really uh, surprised that you'll get some, some really, really major expansion. And that's the most important part to understand. Going into tomorrow, <clears throat> especially, uh, especially year end, right? Literally year end, people closing up their books. You know, you wanna trade days that channels are expanding or potential expansion. The last thing you want to do is enter a trading day with more likely than not that ranges are going to contract. You ever sit there watching, you know, Tesla trade at a $4 range for six hours? Not a pretty sight. So that's kind of what we're looking for tomorrow. A little bit of trickling down, maybe something wakes up, blah, 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 blah. Again, expansion channels is that, that aggressive makeup sex, right? crazy butt naked makeup sex. Contracting, right? Contracting channels are the married couple for 40 years that are the, in the missionary position that I can't stand to even look at each other, let alone have a conversation. That's what we're involved with with tomorrow. That's your pace ability. So again, no expectations equals no disappointment. So let's talk about uh, today's session. Uh, again, pretty good value bounce plays uh, twice in Tesla today. A uh, couple of bounce plays in uh, NVIDIA today. Uh, some pretty decent moves on natural pivots today, but there wasn't a lot. A lot of names 
Uh, obviously, today contracted and rested from from yesterday or the last couple of days of run. So let's talk about this. Uh, again, good job for all you guys uh, who had aim at yesterday. Uh, you know, traded up to like 164 pre-market today, 63, 64s. Uh, nice pop today, you know, nice 24 hour pop. Uh, again, nice move there. Not a big move on Netflix, 617 needs to build. There was actually a cleanup, <coughs> excuse me, in Netflix today. At the, for all you guys in the web, you kind of know. Uh, six, it was what, six, uh, six, sixteen, nineteen. Uh, some nice little pop, couple of bucks pop there. Uh, Facebook was actually very, very strong. 3348 needs to build for a possible test to the 35350 channel. Here was Facebook, right? Here was Facebook. Um, so here was Facebook. Here's a whole three, 349 channel and right into daily supply. I still like the big picture of this thing. As you could tell here, it got rejected three times uh, off this 353 level. Something for us to watch for next week or next year. Yeah, I said it. Um, again, again, I think the market needs to rest for a couple of days, but nice move there as well. Uh, Mercy, nothing big, only went up about 50 cents. Uh, NVIDIA, we were watching for the 315 area, um, never got up there, but there was a couple of bounces there. Uh, Rivian, I was watching for a day to move, never came close. Square, I was watching for the last couple of days for 172, never got there. So now we are watching Square to the downside tomorrow. Again, for whatever doesn't go up, must go right down. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that as well for tomorrow. Uh, UPST, nice pop on UPST from yesterday into today's <clears throat> pre-market. 14, 15 points, really good move there. And this was the very odd one of the day. We were sitting there and we were watching, uh, we were sitting there and we were watching um, really big aggressive call buying coming in. They were coming in when the stock was like 232. They started coming in for the 240 calls very, very aggressively, one after another after another. And then they would come in for the 250s, and they would come for the 260s, and then they started coming in for the January 300s. <clears throat> Let me say this much. I don't know, you know anything. I don't think anybody knows anything unless until the people actually show their hand. And these somebody were making some really, really big aggressive bets on this thing. Would it shock me that Roku gets upgraded tomorrow or gets some sort of deal tomorrow or something tomorrow? It wouldn't shock me just because of the aggressive call buying came in today. But more important was here is the pivot. Here is the 235. Here is the 239. Went to uh, 241 before everything uh, kind of rolled over. Uh, let's see that blah, blah, blah. Uh, Roku take on the way up. And that's about it. So I, I think going into tomorrow... Again, I am very uninspired uh, based on what I'm seeing. Um, I would love to be surprised, pleasantly surprised of possibly anything. But again, there's only literally three days left of the year. And how many of you guys are really going to guns blazing uh, December 31st talking about, let's get it, bro. I know I'm not. All right, guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Stay safe. The COVID thing is not... It's just not going away. Have a great night, everybody, and God bless. And let's see. Maybe we'll get pleasantly surprised tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Have a great night.